some connections in life don't really matter. Some connections in life seem random. And what seems random might, in hindsight, be planned. It's not always the planned connections that lead to a final destination. It is perhaps the most unexpected of connections that end up being the most fulfilling. Looking at all this it reminds me that it's quite true that sometimes the most unexpected of connections can become the most fulfilling. But way back in 1985 when we started the branches shop with an eclectic group of people, little did we think that some 25 years later we would still be in business and seeking to make a difference to some of the poorest people in the world. In 2009, 22 medical teams, 8 work parties, 3 school and 2 connection trips will visit the Vine Trust's work in Peru to see at first hand the partnership between Vine Trust and Scripture Union and to participate in the ongoing development of the medical and street children's projects. Since its arrival in July 2006, Amazon Hope 2 has treated over 100,000 patients and now serves over 124 river communities on a quarterly basis with its sister ship Amazon Hope 1. From 2009, over 100,000 patients annually will be treated by the Amazon Hope Medical and Dental Project and the number of villages will rise to 200. We are continually looking for new partnerships to help us build and extend our work among street children in Peru. Our hope is to secure sufficient annual revenue to support approximately eight homes on a permanent basis. We are grateful to the many churches who have been our partners to date and also to individuals and also to organisations who are helping us bring this about. As the Trust continues to grow its support for street children's centres throughout Peru, we have sought to develop economic self-sufficiency locally in order to minimise long-term dependency on foreign donors. We're so glad that you've been able to travel with us through this video and here we've ended up at the Sacred Valley. This is the last home that we've built in 2009, completed and ready with 40 children in it, making a difference in their lives. I hope that as you've listened and seen, you've been thinking to yourself, well, how can I help? And that's the question I'm hoping you're asking. Perhaps if you're a doctor, you can come and help and get involved in the medical program in Akitas. Go onto our webpage and sign up and find out about the project. Or perhaps you want to get involved in a work team and come in and contribute to building a home like this for children in Peru. Then once again, we're sending out over 150 to 200 people every year to work in these homes. You'd be very welcome to do that. Or perhaps you say, I can't do that. But there's one thing you could do, is that you could make a monthly contribution towards our work. Perhaps you could give us £8 a month or £10 a month. And if we had 2,000 people giving us that kind of money, we would be able to sustain 300 children in homes like this. We're asking you to stretch out your hand and help these children and to make a connection with us. 
And finally, perhaps you're listening to this and you're a church session or you're a member of a congregation. We want to thank you if you've been one of these congregations that's helped us over the years to make a difference. And perhaps this year you might consider once again giving us your Harvest Thanksgiving offering. Or perhaps even at Christmas time have a Christmas offering for the work. There's also the opportunity to use these gift cards, you know, that are so popular today. An opportunity to use them at birthdays or special times when you want to commemorate or celebrate something good. Why not go on to the webpage again and order some gift cards? Above all, we want you to pray for us. We want you to share with us. We want you to journey with us. And so we thank you for your work, for your support and for your help. And we hope once again, as I speak to you from the Sacred Valley, we may be able to make that kind of deep connection that will change the lives of some of the poorest children in the world. Thank you for listening.